couple of requests to do sort of a to like dialing in your tone, your wah tone uh, type video. And I know there's a lot of stuff out there. A lot of good videos already telling you where to put all these settings. I just thought I'd share some creative workarounds. If you've kind of got the wah sound figured out, but it's not quite there, uh, these are going to be my tips for going a little bit further than just the wah parameters. How do we make a wah sound good? It's my opinion in the Helix that all of the wahs kind of sound pretty extreme uh, for the style of music that I play. Oftentimes, I just need a little bit kind of like for a rhythm guitar track, and I don't want it to really stick out too much. So my one biggest tip, and you might have been seeing it earlier here, is actually to set up the uh, right the expression pedal to do reverse functions on something. So yeah, you can have your expression pedal control position. Of course, that's what you'd probably want it to do 99% of the time. Uh, but you can also have it simultaneously control other parameters. So the most obvious one here, uh, for me, in my case anyway, was that I thought the high end of this model that I decided on using was just way too extreme. And uh, yeah, so first of all, I did set the FC low. Does that stand for fulcrum or I'm not sure? Uh, I set that up pretty high and then I set the high down pretty low. So it's already a more narrow sound, a little bit more mild. And I've also changed it so that at the heel position here where we have the low sounds right, uh, it's gonna be boosted. And actually it's gonna cut by the time we get to the toe by negative 4.5 decibels. And it comes out being a pretty mild sound. I tend to do a lot of house band work where we're just kind of backing up an act. And so uh, my kind of mental thing is if the act has to say something to me, then I'm not doing my job as well as I could be. So I just always want to be that dude in the background, never really stepping out unless I'm asked to. And uh, in case anyone wanted to ask, here's the settings for my deluxe model. This was kind of my go-to preset that I used before um, I started really embracing the overdrive blocks in the Helix. And there's all the parameter adjustments when I hit foot switch two, an overdriven sound. Pretty mild. Yeah, so this is mostly for clean stuff anyway. Cab block. Always on plate verb. Let's switch three is a boost. I need to take a solo. And they have a couple other effects here. Always on LA Studio Comp. So this next preset is one that I tend to use when I'm doing like Broadway productions. I've never worked on an actual Broadway productions, but musical type stuff. And so I've named it Broadway. Um, and yeah, so again, here's the a different model actually. Waz turned on with foot switch five. And I have the same sort of thing going here with the level a little bit less extreme. And then uh, something else that's really important is that I actually have uh, some amp parameter controls here dialed in with foot switch five. So when I turn on the wah, it turns on the wah, yeah, but it also changes the bass, the overdrive, and the channel volume. Just to make sure, number one, that we're getting the best sound possible, it's not clipping too much. Um, I turned up the bass because I felt like this wah block, this wah model needed a little bit more in the low end. Uh, and then I've also turned up the channel volume just because I liked the way that the amp was driving at that level, um, but it needed to be boosted just a little bit. So there's an idea for you, right? Just have some amp parameter controls set up so that when you turn the wah on, your amp settings change a little bit. Here's another one, all right? What if we want to, let's see what the trouble control was at, for instance. So 4.5. I'm gonna show you how to set up a parameter adjustment here. So you'll wanna click on the model that you're gonna change, select the parameter, I'm gonna select trouble. What do we say it was at, 4.5, I'm guessing? I already forgot. And uh, yeah, so uh, we want, sorry, expression pedal one, actually. So the minimum position is gonna be with the heel down, so let's say with the heel down, we want it at 4.5. Now with the toe down, as we go to a brighter sound with the wah, maybe we want it just to drop just a little bit and make it a little bit more mild. And that's how you would set up, check out this here. Right, I don't have the wah on yet, but now you can hear it. So, yeah, quick video. That's all I have for today. 
Um, I have to do my self-promotion bit. If you dug this one and you thought this video was helpful, hit the like button down below. Maybe share it with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me out and the, the holy algorithm might, uh, you know, shine some light upon this video and hopefully make it helpful to other people. I do have this preset and all the other ones that you're seeing in the side panel here available in my complete preset library. We're up to like 80 something now. A bunch of impulse responses to uh, custom ones that I built of an acoustic guitar I own. So we've got some bass stuff. Acoustic guitar, electric guitar for humbuckers, single coils, jazz guitar, special effects type stuff, um, some interesting freeze workarounds, a, a Korg Maiku simulation that I make no promises about, uh, ambient presets, a synth preset emulating Pat Metheny's tone. So a lot of stuff in there. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check that out. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.